The defense of Russians in Zaporozhye collapses. Russia suffered a record number of artillery losses. The armed forces of Ukraine in the Zaporozhye direction took the second and third lines of defense of the enemy under their fire control. This is evidenced by the record number of destroyed enemy cannon artillery and air defense systems, Ukrainian military expert Alexander Kovalenko said on Radio NV. We are already putting pressure on their second line of defense, if not directly physically, then with fire. In June, there was destroyed Russian cannon artillery. This suggests that the second line of defense is under our fire influence because the bulk of their artillery battalions are there. Also in June, there was an absolute record for the number of destroyed air defense systems. This suggests that the third line is also under our influence because air defense systems are mainly located in the rear line of defense, he said. He also noted that in some areas of this direction, the armed forces of Ukraine are already approaching the second line of enemy defense. So, the defense forces quite successfully hold Piatikatki, from which it is possible to attack Vasilyevka, although he does not predict a frontal attack in this area. Now, the Piatikatki serve as a diversion of the resource of the Russians. They are trying to recapture the Piatikatki and they are destroyed there when they come out on a direct shot. But there is also advancement in this area. Our positions are expanding. Very interesting actions continue in the direction of Rabatino. When Rabatino is liberated, this is actually a blow to the second line of defense of the Russian occupiers, he said. However, he added that the invaders in the Rabotino area are seriously holding on, for which they use resources, but the armed forces of Ukraine have already leveled the flanks there and are gradually covering the settlement. Kavalenko also pointed to the successful advance of the Ukrainian defenders in the area of Wet Yal on the border of Donetsk and Zaporozhye regions. There, the target is Starom Linovka, that is also the second line of defense of the enemy.